Ah, hello. Okay, so for this video, yeah, there's a Thai Kingdom thing here. Uh, if you know, you know where I'm from. I'll just keep it at that. Anyways. So we have Crusade, DCG, Gundam War, next A, DCG, then the Fight Kingdom. Grab some packs. We have two more Crusade DCG, and then a bunch of assorted Union Arena packs. These will be later. I'm, I'm not gonna open them now. Uh, Next A and Crusade are kind of special to me. Uh, wait, let me just go grab the thing. Because I want to show you guys something. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see here, that is my pile of... This is actually a mix of three different card games, but they used the system used by these two. So for next, a sample card would be that Gundam Mark II. So these, they look like this. Oh shoot, there you go. So you have the three numbers here. That's the melee attack value, shot attack value, and the health of the unit. And you have the the G zone cost of that. And then you have total nation requirement and how many you need to tap. So wait, I'll show you guys a sample of how this works. So let's say... Oh shoot, my, my, my Puru is there. Let's put that inside. Anyways, so let's say... Um, at the start of my turn, I had these two here, upside down, uh, Zeta and double O G units, they're color gray. You can't use them as anything but G units at this point. So, sample, uh, gun tank, one nation, so at least one of these has to be on the field as a G unit, and then tap one color gray to play gun tank. So Crusade and Next A share the same mechanics somewhat, and then I will show the other side of this. Cause yeah. So for Crusade, I mean for Next A, we have colors like this red, and we have some orange stuff here. It's usually separated by season and universe. Orange is turn A and X and G, I think. Um, yeah. White is commonly seed and wing. So there's that. Blue is for, for, for the, some of the protagonists from Universal Century. I, use, I, I have a unicorn deck, by the way. It's not here. It's in the other room. I need to look for it, but it's somewhere there. Green is usually Zionic plus some double O stuff. So then purple is any non non main timeline. So this is mostly build series stuff. Yeah, G Savior. That that really G Savior anyways. Yeah. We have a bunch of um things here that are Unique to the build series. I think they're still build series booster packs, so I'm gonna grab those next time. Now, the third game, albeit the the oldest one, is Gundam War. This one had an English version, but I only have the Japanese cards because I got them during my Japan trip. So again, same mechanics. Uh you're noticing there's no G symbol at the bottom for the nation. Uh it still works the same way, but so in the Next A, you had the nation cost and then the cost to play, where you turn it upside, where where you tap the the G zone card. For shoot, wait, 
What's a good sample here? For the old Gundam War side, you had generation cards acting as your lands. So let's say these two. That's two that's two titans. Or like gray or black, I think. Black. It's black. Titans is black. I don't really have much Titans cards though, so I'm just we'll probably just wing this. Um Do I have anything that costs black? Oh wait, here. Here, Zaku Cannon, okay. I'll give an example. So, the cards start off in a deck in the center of the field, like that. On the, the side. And then, let's say I had the Zaku in my hand. Um, two Nation. That's my G zone value. As you can see here, uh, it needs one Titans and one of any color black. Now, this green symbol, the circle at the upper right corner, is not tapping one, it's actually discard from top deck, and then you can play it like that. Yeah, it, they changed that. They made it more, they made it easier to play on the later game version. So there's that. So the old Gundam War is another card game that uses the same, I mean, it has the same layout, the card. Now the last one, the thickest stack here, is Crusade. Now, it's this game, by the way, Crusade system. Yeah, Crusade. This is Macross. They had a Macross set for Crusade. So we have blue cards, green cards, and yeah. Then we also had, this is actually the thickest one because I box broke this. Um. If you're familiar with Space Battleship Yamato slash Star Blazers 199. Yeah, that's a lot of Crusade cards. Uh, Space Battleship Yamato... Wait, oh wait, there's some Macross cards chucked in here. I'll move those to the Macross. Um, Space Battleship Yamato build was red and black. So there's that. Now, kind of wish they had the English version for all of these cards, but you had to deal with just the English version of this version. Now, I got three Crusade packs and one next A pack. The next A pack is for this. Uh, I might get more next A packs in the future, but for now it's just gonna be one because I wanted to get more Crusade system because I'm in the. I I want to see more Super Robots, so there's that. And yeah, I guess our first unpack would be the next A pack. Let's remove the price tag first because I want to keep the pack art. And because I don't like tearing my packs, let's scissors this at the top. Somewhat at the top. There you go. Oh god, wait. I was at the edge. Never mind. I'll cut it a bit more. Get rid of the tab. Okay, let's see what we get. Next A. Oh yeah, the next A box are different from the other two games. Just so you know, even though they are the same game, it's 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 kind of stupid. Like Bandai, why didn't you just make this one continuous game instead? That would have been fun. Anyways, next A. Let's see here. So let's remove the ignition. That's the collector's list, I think. Let's put the booster back side down. Oh wait, I see something. Okay, wait, wait. So commands, we got wing command. I can't really read Japanese, so please bear with me. We got double Zeta character card. We got a unit from Victory. Oh, it's color black, I think. Yeah. Operation from 8th MS team, color green. That's a Zionic operation card. I think this is our rare. Let's leave it for later. 
uh, Zeta character card. Titans, because it's black card. Graphics card, green. Oh, that's this is Iron Eye. Am I right? Anyways, uh, graphics cards are basically like lands without any effects except for this. Uh, gain and guard. I don't really know. I think it has to do with the stats on the cards. Operation turn A. Unit. Um, this is double Zeta Zeon, I think. Yeah. Command unicorn. This could go into my unicorn deck when I find it. Graphic Zeta Psycho Gundam. It's cool. Gaza C unit. Now what's her rare? Oh shoot, that's sick. Turn A Gundam. That is really sick. Nice. All right. Let's put that underneath that so it doesn't get. I don't really have sleeves on here right now. I'm so sorry. Actually, wait. So I have these three crusade packs. Someone sent me this the other day. It's um Super Robot Wars. Don't for the DS Endless Frontier. It's actually my best girl. Color green. So it's a green played card. So I'll just put it in my crusade pile. And alongside that, there's four packs from her set. So we'll put those underneath the main Super Robot Wars packs. All right, so Super Robot Wars packs. Forgot. I should have removed the price tags before. So I'm keeping the, the art. I mean the packs usually. Anyone else do that? Like they put it in the binder, the pack art. Uh, uh, the Toys R Us ones, I can't really remove those on this video, so I'll just keep those there. I'll remove it after. Anyone else do that? Like on the binder, the front page is like a collage of different booster packs. I, I do that. So, okay. So from these three, let's do our first opening from the center. This is Crusade, so it's gonna go into. Actually, let's make a Space Battleship Yamato Macross Super Robot Wars pile. These are all Super Robot Wars packs because they're OG. They, yeah, it has the original generation logo at the top. Same with uh, the glare. There you go. OG. SRW OG is the video game series by Bandai Namco. I'm actually playing the DS one. SRW W was it? Yeah. Okay. First pack. We have a command card that looks cool. Character. That's probably the rare. Unit. Um I don't know where this is from. I mean it's SRW OG, but which game? Character, unit, this is probably one of the monsters. Command, character, unit, command, and here's the checklist. Um, wait, let's put the checklist in the thing first before we look at the rare. Thing in, oh, uh, so, rare card flip, that's, oh! It's not, it's not bad. It's not, it's a non-holographic though, but it's the original generation Mecha Waifu. Yeah. So I'll put that there and she goes, I'll put the, the actual waifu on top. And then next pack. You know this game like died out in like 2017-ish, so I kind of wish that someone would try to make a new, a, somewhat like a homebrew set for this game, because the mechanics are actually quite decent for mecha anime. I mean, the research is. With the resurgence of a uh, mecha anime, 
This card game might see new sets, but it's already dead, so I hope someone makes homebrew sets for them. Unit. Command. Okay, there's our rare. Another unit. That that looks unique. Uh, character. Unit. Unit. Character. Unit. And command. Now rare flip. Okay, interesting. You know, what? um, would you guys be interested in a video of me playing Crusade slash Gundam War slash Gundam War Next A? Because I can probably make a few decks, most especially with the Space Battleship Yamato tile, and we can probably do some demos on how this game plays. That'll be interesting, eh? Okay, next one. Next OG pack. Let's leave the checklist in there already. Okay. Okay. Character. Command. Okay, there's a rare character. Command. Unit. Character. Wait, did we get two of her? No, no, I should. You might be seeing. Command. Unit. And character. Rare flip. Oh! Holographic rare. It's an M rare, actually, there. In the card number. It's an M rare. So it's a. You need three red nation, six total nation, and you have to discard one from the top deck to play it. Now, this one is where the waifu came from, the SRW and this Frontier DS game. Let's open this pack. I'll get more boosters of this next time so we can do more openings, because like, not a lot of people are archiving this game, and some people don't even know that it has a game. Checklist back into the pack. Oh, they're all holographic. Okay. So, they're, I think they're all emirs. Yeah, they are all emirs. Command. Character. Oh, are, they're all from Endless Frontier. Okay. Unit. Unit. And character. That's cool. That's really cool. They're all from Endless Frontier, this, uh, this red set. And there's only like four cards in the pack, if I'm understanding this correctly. No, no, five cards in the pack. For the Endless Frontier packs. Wait, let's remove the card at the back, the checklist. Okay. This one is unit. We open with a unit, okay. Character, command, unit, unit. Oh, that, that's unique. That's really unique. So if you're wondering, no, like character, you play characters on top of units, and then you just add their stats like that, yeah. But other than that, this again, this is a melee attack, shot attack, and HP. You use the shot attack if you've declared your attack, and it's not the first one in the attack pattern. It becomes the shot attack. Unit. Character. Oh, the character stats are zero, zero, zero. Uh, this might be an effector. Unit. Oh, it's the main, the main guy from Endless Frontier. Unit and command. Alright. Wait. I'm just. Oops. 
something for a different drawer. Last of the Crusade system packs. Okay, uh, character, unit, unit, oh, it's her, oh, we got the rare up earlier, unit, and command, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad, so this is our Super Robot Wars OG uh, cards, I will try to make decks from them, and is that it for now deal let's open the union arena cards as well uh this is an entirely new tcg by bandai these are the japan region cards though because philippine problems we're stuck with japan region but i do prefer crusade system so there's that All right, let us open. Actually, wait. Um, I will put all of this away first. Ugh. Okay. Actually, this is where that entire stack of space balls that I'm talking from. I had the entire booster box back then. Now we go to the Toys R Us stuff. Okay, uh, Gamera Shy or Shiny Colors. Uh, I'll count this as one file. So, can I have some stuff there? Okay, we're gonna dice roll this. <laughs> Wait, I'll put it on screen. I'll put it on screen. Uh, how do you put text here? Text. Okay, so on a 1 is to 2, we open Shy. On a 3 is to 4, we open the 2 Shiny Mass. On a 5 is to 6, we open Gamera. Randomization. Best of 3. So... That shoots to 6. To 5. It's probably Gamera first. 1. So 6 and 5, we got Gamera first. Oh, yeah, I'll just leave the dice there. Gamera. Union Arena. Camera first. Do we have a checklist card? Or no, no we don't. 
Okay, I'm not that familiar with how Union Arena works, so kind of new to this. Thousand people. Just a character, probably. Another character. Another character. I think those are the BPs or characters. So there's that. Oh, it's Gamera himself. Nice. Ah, shoot. I should have turned off the text thing. Yeah. Oh, go. Okay. Then we got the Gamera holographic rare. That's sick. Okay. I'm not that familiar with Union Arena. I just got it because I was curious. I, I'd rather get more Crusade cards. <laughs> okay. Now, let's do this again. Uh, let's actually do it like that. Best of three, two, five, three. That's still different. One more roll. What is it? It's a one. Okay, we're opening shy first. And then we'll just do Idol Master Shiny Colors together in one opening. Okay, um, for Shy, we get um, her. Okay. Okay. Isn't this the Russian one? Uh, okay. Okay. Russian girl. Okay. Wait, is this... No, we didn't get Shy. Okay, we, we got um the water girl from the opening. I forgot her name. I can't read that. Uh yeah. Sad. Okay, that goes to the side first. Okay, you now idol master. Okay, no worries. First this is volume one first. Focus camera. There you go. Oh. Okay. 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 No shot, really? Shoot. Illumination stars uh yellow. I think. Is she yellow or is she the center? Forgot. Anyways. Oh, she is the yellow. Okay. That's cool. One of my best girls in shiny colors. Now for the last pack. We're going to do another card opening next time. With more of the the ones earlier. The mecha one, per se. The next A ones. I like those cards a lot. So, I'm just saying. Okay. Start with a stray light card. Oop, there you go. Alstro. Where? Oh, wait, that's, a, that's also Alstro. That's an action card. Okay. This is Hokago Clan Max Girls. Another Hokago. Oh, Nokcha. That's interesting. Antica. Really? Really? This is technically the full art of my best girl in Nantica. Oh wait. Oh no, Nocturne. This, this is Nocturne. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but still. She's the only girl I like in Nocturne, though. For context, I like Glass Girl in in Antica also, but it's fine. 
So I think our cards are purple. Knock chill. God damn it. Okay. Nice. We got we actually got a full art. Um it's an SR. Maybe right. Oh. Yeah, it is an SR. Let's go. Okay, wait. Wait, I don't have sleeves. Uh I'll put it back in the pack first. Oh god. Alright, alright, alright. So that's it for this pack opening. I will try to find card sleeves for that one card. Thank you guys for for dropping by for now. Uh we're gonna do more openings of the other one. This uh next time but really knock chill best girl full art oh man i need to case that sleeve it something i don't know we'll see anyways all right see you guys next time bye bye